Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of PyTest, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use hook functions which act like fixtures in PyTest. Either we can use fixtures in PyTest or in place of that, we can also use hook functions. There are alternative way also to run the setup code before every test function and to run the tear down code after every function. We can either go with the fixtures or we can go with the hook functions. Okay. Why we have to learn both when one of the solution is available? Why we have to learn both? Because some people may use fixtures, some people may use hook functions. It's better to have the knowledge of both. If there's a possibility of running the setup code and tear down code, not only with fixtures, but also with hook functions, different people will try to use different stuff in different places. So it's better to have the knowledge of both. So in this session, I'm going to uh, practically demonstrate how to use the hook functions uh, to run the setup and tear down code with the help of PyTest. Okay. So let's get started. So there are different hook functions we have in PyTest. So using which we can run the setup code and tear down code. Like we have done, uh, like uh, fixtures have done the same thing, right? Fixtures purpose is also same to run the setup code and tear down code. Similarly, hook functions also by using this hook function, we can run the setup code and tear down code. So what are the different hook functions we have? Setup function of function. Tear down function of function. Set up module of module. Set tear down module of module. Okay. So coming to the fixtures, I already covered in the previous sessions. Okay. What is a fixture and all here I covered in the previous sessions. Now in this session, alternative to fixtures, you can use hook functions that I am going to cover. The same uh, same kind of uh, output you will get with the hook functions also. The output you got with fixtures for running the setup and tear down code, the same you will get with the hook functions that I am going to cover in this session. So let's get started with this. So let's. Let me switch to this PyCharm IDE for practical demonstration where we have the sample Python file under this project. In this uh, Python file, I'm going to create some sample functions like test one. Okay. So I'll just create some sample functions, print off test one, I'll say. Test one is muted. Otherwise, copy this and uh, create some other test functions. Test two. Here also test two, I'll say. Then test three. Here also test three, I'll say. Test four. Here also test four, I'll say. I'll create some six, let's say six test methods here for sample. Test five. And finally, the last one I'm creating, for example, that is test six. Test six executed. And these are the test uh, six uh, test functions we have, for example, in this case. And uh, to run the setup code before every test function, and to run the tear down code after execution of every test function, I'm going to depend on hooks in this session. Okay. I'm going to use hook functions in this session. Instead of using fixtures for that purpose, I'm going to use hook functions. Okay. An alternative method. So how to use how to create this uh, hook functions as clear as uh, given here the name should match exactly the same okay the names of the hook function should match exactly you cannot give a different name for the hook functions so here def space setup underscore function this this name should be exactly the same if you change modify any any a bit of it it's going to work in a different manner okay it's not going to be a hook function anymore okay so hook function should have the exact name. And in the circular brackets, you have to give function. And uh, for, uh, for example, here I'll say print uh, launch browser. I'll say in the beginning, I'll say launch browser. And this setup code should run before every test function. So it's going to run because this is a setup function. The This is a setup code which need to be executed before every test function. Now, similarly, I can create a tear down that is closure function, closure code for running the closure code. This uh, name of this closure tear down function also should be exactly matching. You cannot have a different name. Here I'll say close browser. I'll say close browser, launch browser, close browser. Okay, launch browser and close browser. Now uh, run this test. Okay, now run the test and see that the setup code will run before every test function and the tear down function code will run after every test function got gets executed. So to run this, I'll uh, right click open this project in Explorer. So that I'll, uh, I'll be taken to the project location in my machine. I'll go inside the project and type CMD from here. And the command prompt will launch from my project location. Okay. Here I would like to run the PyTest command. PyTest, PyTest space hyphen VS. All the six tests will run and uh, 
before every test, the setup code will run. Setup function hook, hook code will run, launch browser, and uh, the test will run, and close browser. Launch browser, test, close browser. Launch browser, test, close browser. Launch browser, test, close browser. Launch, test, close. For every, for each and every, uh, every, every of these uh, six test methods uh, that I have in this example, before every test uh, function, test method, the setup code got executed, and after every uh, test uh, method got executed, the tear down function, hook function got executed. Okay, code got executed. So this is how it's going to work. Similarly, we have setup module and tear down module, but uh, the difference between setup function and uh, setup module is setup function will run before every test function, whereas setup module will run only once. Before all the test functions, uh, only once it will run. And once it is run, all the test functions will get executed. And at the end, once all the test functions get executed, then tear down module will get run, okay? Instead of each and every function, this will run only once before all the functions and after all the test functions, okay? So let me change this setup function to setup module here. And uh, here inside circular brackets type module. Here also tear down module you write down. Inside the circular brackets you write down module. Now run this. Here launch browser will op op uh, happen only once before all the test functions get executed. After launching the browser, all the test functions will get executed. Then after all the test functions get executed, close browser will happen only once at the end. So here I'll go here and say CLS and uh, PyTest hyphen VS. You can see that clearly here, launch browser happens only once. After that, all the test functions, uh, test methods will get executed. Finally, close browser will happen. So hope guys you understood how to use uh, different hook functions in PyTest, okay? The, the hook functions are going to work similar to the fixtures, where fixtures also are nothing but uh, running some setup code and tear down before and after the functions. Whereas similarly, hook functions also will do the same thing. Uh, okay, so they will also run the code before and after the functions. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.